Your attention, masters, mistresses, all systems functional for the Everything Geek podcast. Hey, this is Rich McDonald, and I play Commander David Mason on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You're listening to Everything Geek Podcast. It's James Arnold Taylor, the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Master Pro Cool in Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you're listening to Everything Geek the podcast. Hey, it's Leif Ganfert. I played Uncle Ben's killer in The Amazing Spider-Man, and you're listening to the Everything Geek Podcast. Hello, I'm Simon Fisherbecker. You probably know me better as Dorian Moldovar from Doctor Who, or the Fat Friar from Harry Potter. And this is Everything Geek Podcast. Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot with the Everything Geek Podcast. You're listening to the Everything Geek Podcast, bringing you interviews from your favorite films and TV shows every week, and all of the latest news. Here's your host, Rory Williamson. Hello everyone, this is Rory Williamson of the Everything Geek Podcast, presenting my interview from film and Comic Con Belfast with actor Andrew Rothenberg, best known for playing Jim in The Walking Dead, Malcolm in True Blood, Eddie Sanderson in Mob City, DEA Agent Schlatter in Weeds, Sklar in Prison Break, Jim in The Exorcist, Mr. Potter in American Horror Story, Lucky in Supernatural, Donald Salt in Castle, and the voice of Stuart Ackerman in L.A. Noir. Enjoy. Hello everyone, this is Rory Williamson of the Everything Geek podcast. I'm here at Film and Comic Con Belfast with actor Andrew Rothenberg. How are you today? I'm good, Rory. How are you? Very good, thanks. It's great to talk to you on the podcast and great to have you at the event. I'm having a really good time. It's a pretty neat, uh, it's, it's a neat event here. Now, for some of our listeners who may not be familiar with your background, can you tell us how you decided to get into acting? Uh, I, I was doing it from a very young age, probably um, the third or fourth grade in school, and I did some skit, and I heard people laughing and clapping, and I just couldn't get enough of it. So that started it, and then I continued the education later and did plays in school, and it's, it's pretty much all I want to do. It's always a good sign when they laugh. <laughs> yes, that's all. Laugh, cry, clap, as long as they don't throw things. And even when they do throw things, it means that you're getting to them. So I think that's good. Yeah, definitely. Now, what were the biggest challenges you faced while working on The Walking Dead as Jim? Uh, one thing that I think anyone who worked on the show, especially in that first season, was it was so incredibly hot. It was very hot out there, which, which made it difficult for everyone Personally, I felt in a way that, that kind of contributed to uh, the authenticity of, of what, what it was like or what it might be like living in that situation. So that was probably the toughest thing. But on the other hand, again, I, I kind of enjoyed it because it, it ha- made the job a little easier. Yeah, it definitely did look a lot more real on screen, you know, with the setting and all of the first season. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned it before that they would they would spray us with fake sweat and then we would all just sweat it off. So they didn't need to do it, but it was it was a lot of fun. Sure sounds like it. What are your favorite memories from your time working on The Walking Dead? It was uh, definitely the people that I was working with. Um, one of my favorite things was we finished my very last shot that I did on the show, which was they don't always do things in order. So the last thing I did was a scene on the RV where I tell Rick that I want to be left by the side of the road. And it was my very last scene, and when we finished, uh, Andrew Lincoln gave me a big hug and told me that actors like me are the reason he wanted to, to come to America and, and work on this show. Um, and that, that meant so much to me, uh, coming from him, because he's, he's just such a great guy, a wonderful person to work with. Uh, kept in touch with him and he's just so friendly and that's that doesn't always happen so that was definitely one of my favorite things yeah definitely that's a really big compliment coming from such a big actor you know and the main you know the main character on the show of course yeah he's he's a great guy Every, everyone on the show is great other good memories are uh eating lunch with zombies and pieces of their flesh hanging off their face while they're stuffing their mouths with salad and such that was entertaining that's probably the thing I would most want to see if I got to be on the set of The Walking Dead. It's just how weird it would be to see the zombies eating, you know, just plain food, basically. 
it's pretty strange and also it's fun when you're on set filming something and there'll be a lot of zombies around on the ground some of them are real people and some of them are, are not real people and you never know which is which that's how good the makeup and costumes were for that show yeah, it would be pretty awkward if someone decided to stomp on an extra just for it, just thinking it was one of the dummies and it was an actual, you know, extra. That could be a very uncomfortable situation. I believe Robert Downey Jr. once did that on a film, <laughs> you know, stomped on an extra thinking it was a dummy, but I might be wrong on that. Um, now, if the zombie apocalypse happened in real life, what would your plan be to survive it? Uh... I would grab the people I love, put them in a, a big vehicle, get some weapons, stock up on food as much as I could, and probably move away from civilization, start over, do that kind of thing, plant food. That, I, I don't think I'd want to forage through the cities and be in the middle of it like that. That's what I would do. Yeah, people can be very dangerous in the apocalypse, as we've seen on the show. Definitely. I don't think I would trust many people. Now, do you have any upcoming acting roles or any other projects that you would like to talk about? I recently worked on a TV show of The Exorcist, which showed in the States, and that, that should be coming around to other places soon. Other than that, I'm, I'm uh, sending in tapes and auditioning for really interesting things, some of which even the audition you can't talk about. But uh, I'll be doing something soon, I'm sure really exciting thank you for talking to me no thank you very much for coming out i appreciate it make sure to check out our podcast links check out our website website.everythinggeekpodcast.com slash egp check out our facebook page www.facebook.com slash everythinggeekpodcast check out our youtube channel www.youtube.com slash user slash everythinggeekcast Check us out on Twitter twitter.com slash everythinggeekp Check us out on Instagram instagram.com slash official everythinggeekpodcast Check out our Mixcloud profile www.mixcloud.com slash everythinggeekpodcast Email us at the following email Everything Geek Podcast at gmail.com. Check out our companion podcast, Everything Geek Comic Cast, www.facebook.com slash Everything Geek Comic Cast. Make sure to check out the host's YouTube channels. Mine is www.youtube.com slash user slash Septus Destroyers. Check out Andrew Rothenberg on Twitter twitter.com slash jim walking dead and check out channel 1138 where we broadcast live from www.channel1138.com geek set if you want uh, but basically my i hitchhiked from georgia to california when i was 19 years old i got drunk and ended up in an acting class I shouldn't say they wanted a little bit more light and a little bit more joy is what I've heard. Uh, so they swapped them. Yeah. And, and then, then Cooper was so great as Jerry with his deuces and everything. So it was, it was funny to watch him and then be like, Oh,